In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the Help Scout to HubSpot CRM integration and show you a way that you can keep your sales team and your support team in sync with your customer interactions. Stay tuned. Hey, this is David with Tech Smart Boss. I'm going to integrate two of my favorite apps, Help Scout, which is our support system, with HubSpot CRM, which is our CRM. So I'm logged into Help Scout and I've gone to manage an app. So I'm on their integration page. And when I scroll down, you'll see HubSpot. Now, this is only available if you are a plus member of the Help Scout. So this is not going to be available if you're on their lowest tier. This is one of their medium tier and higher offerings. But let's go ahead and click on that because I actually am in that tier. I'm going to click install app. This is going to be pretty seamless, I think. It's going to go out there and authenticate me with HubSpot. And it, it already did that because if you notice here, I logged in the HubSpot in the browser tab here. So all that authentication was already in place. And you'll see here that I can sync profiles. I can assign it to specific mailboxes. And I can control not only what activity to display to my support team. If I want to display deals, I can. If I don't, I can turn that off. If I want to show what list, that's a good way to do tagging is to put people in specific lists. If I want to show the activity, the most current conversations, I can do that. And then I can also determine what Help Scout will put into HubSpot in terms of new conversations, if they give me a ranking. And then keep in mind, these are all things I could possibly trigger on or filter on and make views on within HubSpot. So these are, these are pretty popular here. I'm going to actually allow events to create the HubSpot contacts because we have people who might start their journey with us in the support system. I want to know about those in my uh, CRM. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let's actually let's look at properties. Oh, wow. So these are more properties that you can turn on by default. So let's actually take a look at contact properties. I've got a couple of custom ones that I probably want to add here such as, uh, let's see if we can find, let's see what I call those. Um, Yerby activated and Yerby activation date are two pretty important things for our customers. So I'm gonna turn these on. So I, I like that. Let's go ahead and save that. And description should just be a description, yes. So let's go ahead and save this first tab as well. So I'm gonna do a quick search for myself and we'll look and see if it brings in my properties on a ticket. So I'm gonna go ahead and search and uh, let's open up this record here and take a look at what it finds in HubSpot. And there it is. So if you take a look here, it brought in those two fields that I wanted it to bring in. Uh, it brought in also some of the default fields out of HubSpot, which is great. The last activity and my list subscriptions. So this is a great integration. It'll really allow your support team to be integrated more tightly with your sales and marketing team and vice versa. So everybody can be on the same page, which is exactly what we recommend and what we want um, from a team that's focused on customer success. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. If you are using HubSpot CRM and you want to know some cool integration techniques, check out our course that we provide on that. And stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out soon.